Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Windows XFX 11 Preview. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, if you'd like to follow me on my socials, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, those links are down below. Well, this is Windows FX 11. Very interesting concept. I'm actually running this in a virtual machine that I have assigned 3 gigs of RAM and 2 CPUs. And I just want to show you that I'm doing this on a Windows machine so you can kind of see what they're going for here. As you can see, this is the actual Windows taskbar. And then right up here is Windows FX 11's taskbar. And then down here, you can see the true Windows and then what we're doing with the Linux that has been branded with Windows. Let me go ahead and go back to full screen. Okay, we've switched back. And right off the bat, you get the Windows wallpaper. You get that Windows feel and look. First thing I want to do is go ahead and click on the Windows button. And you get a pop-up that is exactly what Windows is offering its users. But we are in Linux. This is built on top of KDE, obviously, because you have Kmail, Korg, Kphoto, all the KDE applications. I'm going to go ahead and find settings real quick and see if we can set this up to a dark mode. And there is your settings. As you can see, it looks like a complete copy of what you see in Windows. And we're going to find customization and themes. And there you go. You can see that it's got Breeze, Breeze Dark, Breeze Twilight, Windows Light, Windows Light, and Windows Dark. I'm going to attempt to switch it to Dark and Apply. So it seems to have applied there, but not on the settings in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, close settings, and then reopen and see if that gives me the Dark. So this is a beta, so obviously we were going to have a few issues here and there. So the dark mode isn't transferring over to the settings yet. I'm sure they'll get that hashed out. But what you do notice is that this is all changed to a darker mode. Now to change the desktop wallpaper. Let's pick something that's a little bit darker for the theme that we are looking at. Now that they have all loaded, I'll go ahead and pick this one and apply. And we will close out of that. There's what Windows FX desktop looks like. So let's go ahead and minimize this and look at a comparison. And there's the actual Windows 11 desktop. So we go back over to Windows FX, back to full screen. As you can see, you've got the bottom panel down here. You've got your notifications, you've got time. You've got your hidden icons, which is your notifications, K organizer, clipboard, night color control, etc. Internet, USB, battery, volume, any desk. This would be weather, so you could click on that. Temperature, units, weather station, I guess you could just choose NOAA, Dallas. We'll go ahead and go Dallas Love Field, select, apply. And as you can see, it shows up down here in your toolbar. All in all, they've got the icons correct. There's the actual Windows 11 desktop. There's the KDE Windows FX 11 desktop. So let's do some snooping around. Let's open up File Manager. And File Manager is obviously Dolphin. You get that immediate Windows feel to it. And with Dolphin, it's pretty standard what you get on a KDE distribution. I'm going to go down here in this area, right-click, and see if I can make the icons a little bigger. Let's bump them up to large. So you've got your usual suspects over here. you got your standard folders over here. There is a little different look in the folders between here and what's actually on Windows 11. But they've done a pretty good job of giving you the transparency up on the top of the windows. As you can see, that's pretty good looking. And you get the transparency over here as well. 
So that is Dolphin File Manager. Let's close out of that. And yes, you do have Microsoft Edge. It opens up to the Microsoft homepage. What we're going to do is we're going to run over and look at Windows FX real quick. And as you can see, this is their homepage. If you want to look at this, it's www.windowsfx.org. Now, for some reason down here, it says Window XFX 11 Preview. I don't know if that's the actual name of the distribution or not. That's what I'm going to call it because that's what they have on their homepage. It says it's fast, stable, and very safe. The Microsoft Windows 11 interface with the speed and security of Linux FX. You come down, it says it's got a friendly interface. It's got Office tools, Microsoft applications, natively brings the Edge web browser, Teams, Skype, PowerShell, Office Online, Code, and more. WX desktop interface brings all the main tools of Microsoft Windows 10. This includes control panel, configuration screens, log in, log out. Personal Assistant, you've got Helloa, Windows FX Personal Assistant. Uses Google Assistant technology to help you hear and execute your voice commands quickly and efficiently. Now, I will say this when I booted it up into the virtual machine. Helloa actually welcomed me to the operating system. So, if that's something you're interested in, you can go over and play with that a little bit. And then you got EXE and MSI applications. Windows FX can run EXE and MSI programs natively with a double click, as in Microsoft Windows. The compatibility mode expands this feature even further. Then you go down a little bit. They also offer it in Cinnamon. It's more of a Windows 7 feel. There is a free edition and there is a professional edition. We are taking a look at the free edition at present, which gives you all operational features. What you are missing is the WX desktop system settings and tools, assistant by voice command, Microsoft Active Directory, OneDrive and File Manager, use of WX desktop resources, that's limited for 30 days, and then pricing is free. Now, if you want all of those features, they actually charge $20 for it. So, let's scroll down here. Choose a version of Windows FX. You can choose it there. And then Windows FX 11, fast, secure, and stable. And then, of course, it's a Brazilian distribution. You've got resources. You've got downloads. Acquire a serial key. Contact us, Facebook, Twitter, and then they do have a phone or online number. So we will go back up top. I'm going to close out of Edge. Right here, it says chat. Let's click on that and see what that brings up. And of course, it's Microsoft Teams integrated. All you got to do is get started, log in, and you can use Teams directly from the desktop. Then you have your widgets, which will be your KDE widgets. And any of you who've watched any of my KDE videos know how easy these are to use and how easy they are to download if you need something new. So we will close out of widgets. Then you got your virtual desktop. You got your different desktop views. Then there's Helloa. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and see if it'll do anything. To use the voice resources, it's necessary to install the system, so we're not going to do that. We will move on. And then you have your application launcher, which is under the search. So what I'm not sure is do we have... Okay, there's the apps layout. Now, if we click on this, will it show us all apps? Okay, shows us all apps just like on Windows 11. They've done a real good job at making this resemble Windows 11. So let's close out of that. Let's see what kind of apps it comes with out of the box. You've got Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, K Organizer, K Mail. K Mail is open, provide personal data. Does look like they have it branded to look more like a Windows program. It's just got the dark mode. They've changed it up a little bit. It's K Mail 5.18.1, which was released in August of 2021. So, but you can come in here. Let me close that. You can come over here, you can add all of your personal accounts, your email addresses. You can put as many as you want into that, and then it'll be integrated right into your operating system. So let's close back out of that. We'll go back over here. You've got Windows FX, you've got Dolphin we've already looked at, Kphoto. Let's see what kind of resources we're using. And I've issued this machine three gigabytes of RAM because I didn't want it to stutter a lot. And right now at rest, we're at 2.2 gigabytes of RAM. Let's go ahead and close out Microsoft Edge. And let's close out Kmail all the way. And get a true at rest reading. 
So we're at 1.7 gigabytes at rest. Because we are running a highly customized version of KDE, I'm sure it is taking up a lot more in resources. And it seems that we might still know the applications are closed, history, processes, just seems like it's a little heavy. I mean, even right now, if you're running a true Windows 11 environment at rest, you're running about 2.5 to 2.6 gigabytes. So, I mean, if you're wanting all these eye candy things on a distribution, Windows FX is definitely delivering. So, we will go back over. You got your Microsoft PowerShell. We can open that up. So, you've got Microsoft PowerShell right inside of WinFX. So, I'm going to close out of that. Go back over. You got Spotify, Telegram on desktop, development. You got translations, Gambus 3, games. You've got Steam, graphics. You got GIMP out of the box, GwynView, internet. We've already went through. You do have Firefox. So, if you don't want to use Chrome or Edge, you can uninstall those and you have Firefox right there as a fallback. Multimedia, you got Audacity, Cheese, it's got Kodi installed. It's got OBS Studio installed out of the box and VLC Media Player. I'm impressed about OBS Studio already being on there. I mean, yeah, all you got to do is go over and download it, but having it out of the box just saves you a step. Office, you've got online versions of all the Microsoft accounts, which is Microsoft Calendar, Excel, OneNote, Outlook, People, PowerPoint, Word, and then they do give you a local version of only office and then oculus and then only office center and then on settings you got firewall system settings system android file transfer g parted k wallet windows fx device manager utilities and then chrome apps you got amcrest web view chromebook recovery utility team viewer lost and found you got Helloa, OneDrive, Virtual Desktop, Widgets, Windows FX Update, and then Help. Guys, if you're somebody that wants Linux but enjoys the look and feel of a Windows 11, this is definitely something I would go check out. They did a great job at making the operating system look good. So if Windows FX 11 Preview is something you want to give a shot to, zip on over to their website, windowsfx.org. Download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual drive, give it a test run, see what you think about it. I would definitely give it four gigabytes of RAM and two to four CPUs, so that way you know you get a good actual feel of how it's going to be. Tell me what you think of Windows FX 11 down below in the comments. And before you go today, please remember to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on socials, or better yet, become a Patreon to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are down below. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.